Hello everybody, uh, Shazoo is here. We're out in my mad science laboratory. And essentially this is a uh, proof of concept uh, video. Some people out there may have already figured this out, but for those of you who haven't figured it out, this is what's known as an armature. It's found within uh, every single electric motor out there, AC electrical motor. And uh, essentially what this video is to teach you how to uh, basically make a generator out of just any old armature out of the uh, electric motors that you have uh, available. You have uh, fan motors in your house and, uh, you know, old wash machine engines or motors, <laughs> engines. Anyway, yeah, <clears throat> what I did was I made a real crappy prototype. And this one here is out of a uh, vacuum sweeper motor, which I don't have any more to show you because I've already tore them all apart to get all this uh, electrical wiring out here for different coils that I'm working on. And uh, it's uh, gold colored wire, electrical copper wire, it's uh, pretty good stuff. But either way, uh, these armatures come in all different sizes and shapes. and uh, they're really easy to get a hold of, and it's a uh, permanent. It's already uh, already ready built generator head, so to speak. It's got to see all that copper wire up inside there. There's several turns of copper wire in there, and and to get that copper wire out, of there's like a real pain in the neck because you got all the uh, different uh, materials that basically they use to hold it in there. So it's uh, really not worth the effort, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> But anyway, uh, essentially what you do is what I did. These, uh, there's, there's brushes in there that actually go across these contacts right here. All right. So what, what happens is whenever you plug it into the wall and flip the switch on, those brushes put a current to this right here that uh, basically energize that coal and make it magnetic. Well, then you also have the uh, coils that go on the outer uh, deal there. These, uh, that's where I get all the copper wire that you've seen over there. Uh, basically, there's two separate fields. One of them's energized, whether it be the primary, the secondary, or the actual uh, armature itself. And uh, that field in there is what causes it to turn the AC current flipping back and forth, uh, changing the polarity or so. So on down the lines is what uh, actually uh, makes this motor spin. So what I did was <clears throat> I took a couple magnets and I hot glued them on there. You can see I got a really large gap in between the magnets. I hope you can see that. Let me see if I can bring this in closer. Uh, they're not gapped very well because uh, when you're using hot glue, it's a real pain in the neck to uh, get them close enough to without them sucking to the armature. So you'd have to take a little more time with this. I kind of threw this together in a in a real hurry. <clears throat> but you have the brush mounts that came in the electric motor. Let me pull one of these brushes out so you can get an idea of what it looks like. These are little carbon brushes and that's what actually uh, transfers electricity from uh, point A to point B in there. So I got a little rubber band holding these in there and uh, Essentially those brushes ride around on the armature <clears throat> and the armature has little slots. Right inside there you can see little slots in between the contacts. Yeah, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, there you can see it. See the little slots. And then you also have slots in the, uh, in the core right there. And when your magnet's flying past there, it changes the polarity from north to south as it goes past your magnet with these little slots right here. So uh, if you count up the number of slots and then div uh, divide it by two, you know how many separate coils is actually in that one armature. But to make a long story short, this uh, little uh, mini prototype right here is just a pile of crap. It uh, is made together real fast with uh, junk just for proof of concept. And you can see with just barely spinning the uh, deal that you're starting to get voltage up in the volt range. And uh, you can hook a drill to that and get a little bit better. I didn't get very high. Let me go ahead and uh, find a drill and hook it up there and spin it up and see how high we can actually get this. 
Give me just a second and I'll grab a drill. Sorry about that, but we got a drill now. Uh, keep in mind, this ain't going to be uh, a lot of voltage because of the gap that I've actually got between the uh, magnets. And if you take uh, get your magnets to be about the same size as those gaps, little long, uh, long square magnets, if you get them to be about the same size as those gaps, it'll work better. And you can put a lot more magnets around the outer uh, deal of it so that you get more of a pulse and if you uh, take and uh, get some more carbon brushes the more carbon brushes you can get around there and feed them all in parallel together with each other then uh, the more current I believe you can actually get out of this thing but I'm going to hook the drill up to this thing real quick Ooh. last time I did this I like, like to rip my finger off you gotta be real careful when you're working around power tools. <laughs> there we go. Alright, here we go. We uh, hope you can see the numbers there real good. There. Yeah, it looks like you can see them. That is some um, up to a point seven sixteen to seventeen volts. Like I said, that ain't much. It ain't much, it's just proof of concept, it's just uh, basically showing you that yeah you can generate electricity with uh, just the armature alone by making you a little homemade generator there. And if you take a little time and do uh, what I was talking about by putting more magnets around there, and uh, this uh, is DC current that uh, comes out of it, so it doesn't have to be rectified if you're going to bring it up to 12 volts, you might have to basically step it down just a hair if you're going to run a battery I think maybe 13 volts max if you want to be charging a battery if you ain't got some sort of regulator going on but uh, it works even at a small speed if you put it on a, uh, a wind turbine or something like that you could get uh, it to trickle charge a battery because it uh, it'll put out a continuous vote as long as the uh, wind is blowing I'm not sure about the amps or anything like that. Like I said, I just put it together with uh, just a scrap armature out of a junk uh, vacuum sweeper motor. And you can find these armatures in all different sizes. And ain't nothing to it but just to do it. And the little carbon brushes that are already in, uh, in the electrical motor. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's uh, kind of informative, and uh, if you have any questions and need to give me a holler, uh, just don't feel free to call. And uh, there's all kinds of different ones of these uh, cores right here in all different sizes and shapes, so it's up to your creativity if you want to make a really good one. Some people make uh, generator heads out of uh, ceiling fans, but uh, essentially that's the easiest way to do it with that old armature right there. You got plenty of them around your house. There you go. Peace and love, everybody. Take care.